The Core Essentials Battle Belt. Is it something you really should invest in? Three, two. What's going on, good people? Welcome back to the channel. So we're going to do a very quick review today over a battle belt, okay? I got several battle belts, but a lot of individuals have been asking about this particular one, not just from me, but they've been asking uh, on forums, online, about what's going on, what is the word on this Core Essentials Battle Belt. And so we have the Core Essentials Battle Belt right here. This is in um, Coyote that we have it in. And I'm going to talk about some of the things that they promised with the belt. Then we'll talk about what I've experienced. This is going to be review one of two, if you will. Um, so this would be more of our tabletop review, but we're going to go through some of the things that they promise. All right. So battle belt. If you don't know what a battle belt is, which that's okay. A battle belt is essentially a belt. All right. Think about like Batman, right? It's like your go-to belt. It's your utility belts where all you, you keep all your good stuff. Okay. So your battle belt is going to be that it's going to supply you with medical supplies. If, if, well, you should have it on your battle belt. It's where you're going to get sources of feed, so extra magazines. You might have a flashlight, toolkit, um, gloves, various hanging systems, your gun. It's your battle belt. It's if you get into a kind of engagement or a conflict, this belt should be able to sustain you through that engagement and conflict with resupplies and tools that you need. All right, so that's what they are. And a lot of people ask, you know, which one to buy? Why should I buy this one? There are a lot of good options out there. Today, we're going to talk about whether this uh, Core Essentials, in my humble opinion, is a good option or not. So here's what we have. We have two belts. This is a two belt system for one. So let me start there. Got this handy dandy little box here. Okay. Got that little box. Now inside of this, and I've already put mine together, so you're going to get um, a, a wrench, I believe you're going to get the buckle to the belt. Let me turn this thing around here so you can see that. Okay. You're going to get the buckle. Uh, you're going to get some measuring tape. All right. You can get some measuring tape. Don't be lying. The tape don't lie. Be honest about what the tape tell you. Um, and then in here I have what I cut off. So you're going to actually be cutting this belt. Uh, to size. Now that can seem daunting if you're not used to, I'm destructive, man. I break stuff. So I'd be nervous when people tell me that I got a custom fit stuff. Uh, I don't like it. All right. But then as you get this cool little, that's what the box looks like on the inside, if it matters to anybody. Um, but if I can do it, you can do it because I'm very destructive. I hate assembling things. This was easy, fun. I was listening to some YouTube videos or some podcasts or something while I was doing it after I watched their instructional video. It's, it's, it's pretty straightforward, man. Uh, trust me, you can do it. Don't be intimidated by that. All right. So you get a two belt system with it. Once you cut it, size it and put your buckle on, um, you're going to notice that you get two belts and mine is already all hooked up here. So I'm going to rip this one out um, and then show you the main belt. So your main belt or your outer belt is 1.75 and a lot of people like uh what that's the <laughs> that's the uh, width or height of the belt if you will uh 1.75 inches okay why is that important oh they're all pretty standard you can get them uh i've seen some battle belts go up to like two inches uh i think this is a, a good size um they still have a dual molly system on it so that just means there is actually let me get some molly over here that you can actually see there we go. Can you guys see that? There we go. Yep. Molly here. Molly here. Molly's pretty standard. Obviously, if you don't know, I'm saying it for people that don't know. It's standard for attaching uh, different things to it. Um, here is the interesting part that I start looking at when we start talking about uh, battle belts. Can the belt sustain weight? Does not mean you should be slapping every dang on thing you got in your garage or in your safe on your belt. But I do need a belt that is rigid enough, sturdy enough, so rigidity. I need it to be able to take abuse, right? I don't need to be able to scrape up against a tree, you know, and all of a sudden my belt is shredding apart. Sturdy, can it hold and handle weight and help me? Um, wasn't battle belts, but in, in my little uh, career that I had, I wore a lot of duty belts. And my duty belt 
you know, back then they were leather mainly, right? Now they are leather or nylon. And we had to really worry about how we distributed weight. I mean, um, you carried a gun on one side, right? And then because of the materials that we had, everything wasn't really balanced. We used to use things like belt keepers to keep the belt from sagging from one spot to the other. Like it wasn't nearly the technology we have today. So I'm glad to see that uh, that's changed. But one thing about that, since I do remember trying to use belt keepers to hold things up, I look for something that's sturdy so the belt, you know, can can stay on my body. I'm not constantly like fighting and do, constantly doing a pull up on one side, you know, and getting readjusted. When I'm out, when I'm wearing this, say if I'm training, I want to be able to train and stay focused on the task at hand and not worried about if my belt's drooping and sagging down on one side. So those small things to me are very important because I also don't want to go back to my uh, trauma of a belt always having to be adjusted on the fly is that they are touting this belt can hold up to 20 pounds. Okay, um, you might think, well, 20 pounds is a lot. Yeah, how much does your gun weigh? I mean, I don't know what you're carrying, but how much does your gun weigh? Um, by the time you, you carry a couple of fully loaded magazines, the point is 20 pounds is pretty giving. It's a lot, but you can get there a little bit sooner than you think if you're not careful. All right, so Let's see, where else can I go here with this thing? I do like they give you this little keeper here. This, they call it a tip keeper, all right? Just the tip, okay? Just the tip. Then you get the inner belt. Hold on, here it is. And you get the inner belt. Now this is probably my favorite part, okay? The inner belt, I believe, is 1.5 inches, so, uh, I believe that's what the inner belt comes in at, 1.5. But the inner belt, here's why this is important to me. One, a good inner belt is going to, this is going to go through your pants, right? It's going to go through your belt loops. Um, I love the fact of, the, the fact that this tip here has Velcro on the inside because what I can tell you is you get some belts where only the, the Velcro on the main body of the belt goes into the Velcro on the main body of the belt. Not only can you attach it, but we're gonna give you this layover piece here where you can actually adjust it to where you want it to go. Um, I dig that, I like that, good job. And the belt's sturdy, once again, sturdy. You can see me squeezing this thing and it's not giving in, right? That's what we want. Um, Cause it's gonna help you, A, keep your damn pants up and it's gonna help you uh, secure the outer belt to it. Here's the other reason why I really need a good inner belt. Because let's just say, Let's make this easy, man. You got, a, you got a day on the range, right? Say you take a class from No Other Choice Firearms Training, which you should at NoOtherChoice.com. Had a beautiful evolved rifle class, you know, maybe even a pistol class. You decide to wear your battle rig. And, you know, now it's time to go break bread. You know, it's time to, you know, go get, you know, some, some food or whatever, or maybe just sit around a bonfire and chill. Well, you rip your outer belt off, secure it, and you got your inner belt. Then you can slide with a good inner belt. You can start um, attaching your EDC, you know, go inside the waistband with your, with your EDC, adjust it out a little bit, be nice and comfortable, pull your shirt out. Now all of a sudden you're relaxed, right? Now you're in your everyday carry kind of position and you're no longer in your battle position. All right, does it work? Well, let's talk about this 20 pound thing. I didn't weigh this crap, I'm gonna tell you that right now. I do have way more on this belt than I'm going to keep. Part of that was testing the limitations about this 20 pounds. I wanted to see. So I put more on here than I normally would put on a belt. Um, but let's start about what, it, what, what it's holding. So we have over here, we have one, two, three pistol mags. Okay. And then we have two AR mags. We also have in here, let's see, yep, the Streamlight ProTac flashlight. Okay. And you're gonna notice in the pictures I got the bezel up because uh, I was taking pictures too fast and I wasn't focused and paying attention. So sue me, leave me alone. All right, and then we have our SOG uh, multi-tool, right? So we have those items. That is a lot of weight, ladies and gentlemen. Turn this thing around so I can see what I'm doing. That's a lot of weight, all right? So how do you Prepare to carry that much weight. You better have a damn good belt. That's how. Back here, medical supplies, which are a non-negotiable for me. All right, that's just me. So this is um, 
the Reflex IFAC uh, med pouch and hanger from High Speed Gear. And all this stuff is High Speed Gear tacos. I like High Speed Gear. Yeah, let's see. I'll get to this little guy in a second. And then, obviously, I have my gun. And no, my holster does not match the kit. Get over yourself. Um, I have the True North Concepts um, rig sitting on here with the, let's see, what is this? The uh, QLS from Safari Land. Um, and inside of there is the Truth Frame. If you know what the truth is, it's my custom signature firearm. The Truth Frame with a uh, VP9L slide. Okay. Right. So that's what's in here. And then that, that is a X300 Vampire that's on there in case you wanted to know with a DG20 switch. All right. So that's what those are. All right. What else we got? We have gloves. Uh, I'm a big fan of keeping gloves on your on your kit. You, you should have gloves just. And and a lot of people are thinking, well, Gloves, yeah, because, you know, your gun gets hot. True, but if you're out on the range training, guess what? You got to pick up, you know, wood, target stands all the time, splinters, stuff like that. And then for hot for hot guns, but I really have it just for maintenance of my hands. I'm not, I'm not looking forward to getting splinters. That would just suck to have a splinter in your hand uh, for 10 hours while you're trying to focus on other tasks. I, I just don't want it. And maybe I'm not a manly man. Maybe you are. Okay. I, j I, j I just don't want those problems. Uh, then I have my shot timer. All right. Don't really know what to tell you guys about this shot timer quite yet, so stay tuned for that. Um, but the shot timer is on here, right? I need this is magnetic, so you can see here that the belt is still able to hold that. I can pull this off, do what I need to do, and then slap it, slap it back on there, and I'm done. Um, yeah, so that's all. Oh, and this little thing here is a tack strap. This is from uh, Neomag. I like this little thing. It, it's magnetic. It pops out so you can stick your ear pro, gloves, whatever else you might need to fit in there, and then put that back in. Very simple design, but ingenious at the same time. Can you see that? Let me see if I can get it closer. I don't know if you guys can really, there you go. So that's the tack strap. Uh, you know, get one. I don't work with them either. Don't ask me, you gotta ask them. But. I just bought this thing. I mean, it's, it's cheap. I think it's like 20 bucks. Uh, so I just went and bought it. Let's see. That's it, man. Um, and th the point of me going over all this stuff is to see if the belt could actually sustain and hold all this weight. Like I said, this is way more stuff than I normally carry. Um, especially, you know, I could go down to two mags. Normally I like to have two pistol mags, two rifle mags. Um, I'll keep a multi-tool. Um, you know, normally, I'll be honest with you, sometimes I'll just stuff them in a med pouch if I have room. Um, and a flashlight could go in my pocket, but nothing wrong with having it on your kit either. But once again, I did it because I wanted to see what the weight would do. It held it just fine, um, stayed on me just fine. I've worn this through two training classes now, um, and the belt did great. The belt did great. So for an MSRP of $139.99, it's fairly priced. I love the micro adjustments. That is worth its weight in gold. Right there. Those quarter inch adjustments are everything, in my opinion. I, I absolutely love it. Uh, I'm trying to free it out here while I'm talking to you on the video at the same time. But let's see if I can get this clear for you guys this time. Boom, there we go. See that? Yeah, micro, being able to micro adjust your battle belt is pretty dang on cool. I got nothing else to say, man. Uh, the inner belt's great too. I've worn this with just holding up my pants and my EDC, and it works. It's nice, sturdy, it's rigid. Seems to be durable. Now, I haven't worn this out for, you know, hours, and when I say hours, I mean, I've worn it for hours, but I haven't worn it for hundreds of hours yet. But what I can say is initial impressions. It's a good belt. For 140 bucks, two belt system, Sturdy, rigid, does as promised. You can kit this out for whatever needs you have, man. Like I said, you got up to 20 pounds. You got a sturdy system that's willing to work with you and flow with you. Another thing, um, moving with it on was really easy. So it wasn't so damn stiff to where I couldn't bend over, pick things up. But it also wasn't um, 
so forgiving that things were falling off, drooping down, sagging. I, I don't like that feeling. And anybody that's ever wore a belt for a living, law enforcement, military, security, you understand what I'm talking about. Sagging belts suck. <laughs> they just do. So I'm glad it was able to hold up. Um, that being said, man, that's all I really got. But the core essentials of uh, battle belt, uh, two belt system, is it worth 140 bucks? Yes. Uh, does it perform as promised? Yes. Do I think that if you're in the market uh, for a new belt or an additional belt, that core essentials is something you should consider? Yes. And what is the highlight to me outside of the sturdiness and the rigidity? It is going to be those micro adjustments. Uh, if you are somebody who's, you know, doing things like uh, hanging off of uh, choppers, um, propelling and things like that, if that is your duty and you need that uh, that rated ring, the rated D ring, I believe it is, then this isn't the belt for you because it's not meant for that, uh, those kind of special operations. But for everybody else, this belt will do you justice. So that's been it. Make sure while you're looking up uh, core essentials, make sure you head over to NovaChoice.com, you know, jump into a class, get some swag. We have the My Answers Paid the Price, I'm Just the Receipt shirt. We also have the illustrious Harriet would have smacked the sugar honey iced tea out of you, along with many other options over there on the website. Make sure you go check it out. Um, let's see. I just noticed my hat's been crooked the whole time. Ah, check that out. Um, yeah, man. Sign up for a class. We got uh, classes all around the country, even in Alaska this year. So make sure you're signing up, getting involved, getting with us. Subscribe, like, and all the things that I need you to do for the YouTube channel can grow. We've grown 8,000 people. Uh, well, we did grow 8,000 people over the course of two months. Now I'm back to putting videos up. Let's see if we can match that again. Share with your friends. Um, and if you got a question I didn't answer, man, ask me. Type it down in the comments. And if you got the answer to a question that somebody asks, go ahead and answer it. Uh, that's what we are, man. We're a community. So that being said, I'm out. I'll see you guys next time. And remember, be prepared for when there is no other choice. See you guys soon. Peace. Hey.